you don't already know who these fine folks are, this is Miss Karen and Mr. Ke uh, Justin <laughs> Kellermeyer of Dayton, Ohio, multi-time champion, freestyle beard style. This is my wife, she styled my beard. We've been competing for about three years, and Thomas came to us and said, hey, can you uh, do a little demo? So we're gonna show you a demo of what a lot of you guys can do at your house for a, a simple, I call it the going out beard. It's something you would uh, go out in public or to a small event. It doesn't take a long time to do, and you can do it with a lot of stuff around your house. So they're called beer can curls. We've all seen them online, we've all seen a lot of people do it. So uh, basically, you're gonna take beer cans, form curls around your beard, and make it look almost like an anchor or an imperial curl. It's important to have nice, smooth sections so you don't have a lot of loose hairs and everything's going the way you want. You want it to be even and symmetrical. So what she just did was she sectioned off the beard straight in the middle, and now she's going to work on each side, smoothing out the beard. The beard only goes up as smooth as you start it. So if you don't smooth the beard out first, you're going to have a rough, maybe some plywood hairs. It's not going to look as clean and neat. This is a thermal spray. Um, if you're using a lot of heat, I would not recommend doing it often unless you have something to protect your beard. Thermal spray protects the beard from all the heat you're going to use. doing with the heat of the hair dryer is we're directing the hair the way we want it to go. So we're brushing it out and using the heat to smooth it out the way we want it to be. So when we put it in the curl, it'll hold the curl better. This is one of the most important steps of styling a beard. The few a few crucial things you need for styling a beard. Number one, you're going to want hairspray. You're going to want a brush, and you want to use a nice brush. There's a lot of different ones out there for not pulling beard hair out. We use an extension brush and also a round brush. Uh, the types of bristles are also very important. Uh, this is for a bristle. You do not want to use a metal brush that is going to just rip your beard out and it's going to be awful. You need your thermal spray to keep the, the protection from the heat. You're going to need some clips to section the beard off. And then whatever you're going to style it around. Now be creative and use anything in your house. Anything that you want your beard to take shape of. A lot of people have used wine bottles. Uh, we've used lids of cups, you know, depending on how big of the curl we want, how small the curl we want. You know, there's just stuff all over your house you can use. And as soon as you wrap your beard around that, use heat. Hairspray, you can make it any shape that you, that you desire. And what she's doing right now is it's called round brushing, and it really smooths the beard. People ask us a lot of, how do you get the beard so smooth? How, do you, how does your style as smooth as it? And a lot of it has to do with the round brushing. All right, now we're going to get to the fun part of it all, is getting the beard up. We use you know, stuff around the house we talked about, beer cans. I've also made my own styling products that hopefully soon I'll be able to find and produce for everyone to buy. Uh, plastic rollers in different sizes that are actually conducive for styling beards. It is kind of harder to find the exact stuff you're looking for. We also use, there's a lot of different people you know, ask what kind of hairspray you use. A lot of people use different things. We use a brand called Cheese. It's Helmet Head. It's a salon brand. It's just a really nice hairspray. It holds well. And it, and it doesn't, uh, doesn't look like plastic when it's in the beard. It actually looks like hairspray. And that's what you're going to get out of a nicer salon product. Another, another crucial part of beard styling is safety glasses. Because <laughs> you will get hairspray in your eyes. I learned this. It took me a year and a half to figure this one out. And I finally did it. So learn from my lesson, because you will shoot yourself in the eye with hairspray, and it burns, multiple times. Everybody see this? This is parted as even as I can see without a mirror in front of me, but pretty much straight down. Now 
doing is we were taking a flat iron and smoothing some of the sections of the beard that we know are a little harder to smooth out with this hairspray. Again, it's just to make that beard just a little bit smoother and a little cleaner looking. All is important to making it precise. If you take your time at the beginning and the end product will look very clean. If you don't take your time, you may get a nice product but you may, you, know, you may have some hair sticking out here and there that you could have gotten before with just the uh, foundation ability. We don't use a flat iron a lot, but it's just to help clean at the beginning of it. You see the flat iron she's using is not big, it's really small, it fits around the face easy, you're not, you're not likely to burn yourself, and it works well. So, if you're looking for beard care products, look for things that are more travel and mini sized. I would also like to stress that I am not putting a lot of pressure with a flat iron. Typically, if you're flat ironing your hair, you're going to use some, like harder, even pressure, and you don't want to do that with your beard unless you want to tie it off. Don't want to burn it off forever. Be very careful using the flat iron in any product you keep. Even, uh, even the blow dryer, you want, to, you want to make sure you have you know, your thermal spray in, and you want to make sure that you're conditioning the beard afterwards. We use a leave-in conditioner called It's a 10. It's a nice one. Uh, there's a lot of hardware tools and other stuff out there. Right when you style your beard, make sure you condition it back. One thing with uh, argan oils and oils like that, if you do use a lot of it, you can weigh your beard down and make it hard to style. So I usually stop using oils and such a couple days before I uh, style the beard in one event. And as you see, we're spraying hairspray in the beard as we're going. We're building a foundation of hairspray. It helps with uh, holding the beard in the style later on. When we start putting it up into the curl, it already has that stickiness from the hairspray and it's going to help holding it and make it easier to stay up. In some competitions, like Ohio competitions, you are not allowed to have any pins or anything holding the beard up. Nationals, they, did allow, they do allow pins and other objects to hold the beard for structural reasons, but uh, most competitions do not allow that. So after all that work, we can now start styling the beard. We've got the foundation built, and now we're going to start smoothing. We're going to start wrapping it around the beer can and making that nice and beautiful. As you see, the blow dryer we're using has a tip on it that actually takes it and puts it and pinpoints the uh, air to a smaller stream so you can actually smooth and hit the area you're going for a lot easier. It's a more precise, more precise stream. We usually use the low setting. Sometimes I flip it to high because I can't see what I'm doing. She usually yells at me a lot for that. But a lot of people don't use beer cans. It's uh, one thing about a beer can is it's coarse. And it holds the hairspray and the hair on it so it's harder to get it off of the hair. So a lot of people use plastics. Uh, this is one of the most common you've seen, so that's why I wanted to show you this. But, you know, think of plastics are a lot smoother, not as coarse, so think of those when you're styling a beard. You're not like a metal or something like that where it uh, wants to hold and uh, grabs the hairspray into that coarseness of the material. And you'll, you'll do trial and error, and you'll find some different stuff that you like. Maybe get as creative as me and start making them. Right now, we're rolling the hair on the beer can. We're spraying with the hairspray and then we're heating it as we go. We're building that foundation still for that curl. Well, normally, I have a mirror and I try to help. Today, she's going to do it all on her own. I have a mirror, unless someone wants to mix everything that's going on, and I'll try to do it. Now you guys are thinking, why is she taking the curl out? We just shake the curl, and now we redo it again and get that nice, clean shape. So we formed it, we made it nice, clean. We started the shape going, we got the hairspray in, got the form a little bit, now we're going to go back and redo it again to hold that shape nice and tight. This is what it takes to have that nice, smooth style that everyone wants. Makes, making that foundation. Eating, you're 
styling and beard up. One thing to always remember, judges are looking for overspray and hairspray to build up. You don't want to have thicker amounts of hairspray over here than over there. You want it to be smooth with the hairspray. So as you see her spraying hair, she's not right up on the beard. She's back, she's back here, not, not spraying a thick, harsh stream. It's a nice, even mist of hairspray on it. So it doesn't, it doesn't build up as much. Now you may have to roll this curl a couple times. You put it up here, you try to take it out, you make it sure it looks good. Pull it back out if it doesn't look the way you want it to look. It may take three or four times, but it's worth it in the end to have that perfect curl. And as she's pulling the curl in, she's smoothing the bottom out, keeping that bottom nice and smooth, no straightaways. Take you a year and a half to figure out what the glass is. I don't know. It seems silly now, doesn't it? Great thing about beer cans is the metal heats up. And that kind of helps hold your style. What's going to keep it in the hair? So we pin the hair now. So I'll help hold the shape while we pull the beer can out. This is the scary part. Sometimes hairs like to stay on that beer. But if you use a beer can with this brand, it works perfect. Always buy this brand. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good.